about Paul McCartney as one of the most documented artists on the planet. Um, I grew up a Beatlemaniac, a McCartney obsessive. I read every book, I watched every documentary. And to me, I was too young to buy Beatles records when they came out, but I could buy Wings records, and I loved them. And to me, the story of what happened to Paul in the wake of the Beatles, where he had to sort of rediscover himself, is the story that to me has never really been told. And when Universal and Michelle called me about this, um, it took me about three seconds to say, I have to do this. Uh, it's the kind of the thing I think I've been training for since I was 10 years old. Um, so already, uh, I think it's a, it's a story that speaks to, to Paul's output, which in this time, in the 1970s, he did some of the best work of his career, both as a wing and, and solo. And um, you know, it's just really exciting for me to be able to do it with uh, Polly Graham, with uh, MPL, and everybody here. So uh, thank you. We cut a very quick teaser just to give you a sense for it. So please enjoy it. Thank you. When you were young and your heart was an open book It must have been a very hard act to follow. If there was any group that you could pick to not want to follow, it would be the Beatles. He wants to find out who he is himself and whether he can do what he wants to do. It really hit me. The sorrow of losing these great friends. We had to do something new. I love making music so much, I just didn't want to stop. Do you 